All right, so we've got a bunch of tools that um, are kind of my standard uh, equipment here. And this is uh, just a large, uh, hard, what they're called hard hammers, or rock hammers. Um, they're just big river, river cobbles, and they've got the mass to really pull off really large spalls and flakes that can be worked into preforms or worked into other things. So, like that. That's the kind of material that we can take, turn into a preform, and eventually work down to something like this. Now, second is kind of the most, really the most important tool is uh, my my smaller rock hammer. Um, these things tend to run from the size of about a small baseball down to about a golf ball. And these things are important not just for removing material, but they're also uh, for abrading the edge of your uh, taking off kind of, of your biface because if you have a fresh sharp edge and you try to hit it with one of your soft hammers or one of your hard hammers the edge just snaps it actually kind of a large point of contact something like about that while that dust is accumulating uh, for there to be enough surface area and enough stability for the hammer uh, the soft hammer to grab it and then rip the flake off um, and that brings me to my soft hammers this is a piece of elk antler that uh, has kind of the tines worked off and here's kind of the business end of it right here um, and it's a little lighter I'll do it for more fine work I, the flakes that come off or tend to be a little smaller and the material itself is a little more spongy uh, this is a piece of moose antler that is much heavier much denser and is kind of my workhorse for all of this reduction sequence stuff it's got enough weight to it on its own that I don't have to slam on it like I would with a piece like this or a piece of deer antler. Then we've got a couple of pressure flaking tools. The, this one's uh, just a piece of elk antler. That's uh, This is used for pressure flaking and we'll also use something like this only here for uh, for notching later. Concept is identical to the, to the percussion uh, with pressure flaking. You just get a good spot and you just push flakes off. It's a lot more controlled, but you, you can't get the distance across the surface of the preform that you're working on with it. So it's really best for uh, resharpening or final shaping of your material or doing things like notching or putting in serrations into, uh, into whatever final blade that you're, you're doing. And essentially what we're gonna to wanna to do is we've got this big turtle back going on here. We need to be removing flakes in this kind of a direction and this direction along this ridge in order to try to get rid of that and get this piece worked down into more of a flattened piece. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start grinding all the edges down so that I don't, one, cut myself on them, but two, so that I have good striking platforms to start removing flakes. All right, so now we've got this edge right here, and you can kind of follow the white powder to show you where to, to place your strikes. So I'm going to use this moose antler billet. Start taking pieces off. So yeah, if you look in here, here's where we've got all these voids, and once the flake hits a void, it, the flake stops, it can't go through it. So it's going to take a lot of back and forth to center our margin along kind of this kind of line. So we just had this strike point right here, and this one actually was a little more effective than I intended it to be, but if you see there, it just pulled off all of that. So now we've got an almost completely flat surface to start working into a, into a preform, got rid of that turtleback. Now some of the issues that I'm still going to run up against is we've got this really concave area here, and you can't run flakes across concave areas. So I'm either going to have to work this side down so that this edge comes up this way or I can come at it from the back and try to take this ridge off a uh, single strike. All right, yeah, so there's our spot. I'm gonna use my little finger here to kind of support that ridge so that there's, there's not as much um, shock as the flake is traveling down. So now that's moved the ridge that we wanna work over to the side a little bit. And basically what you do is you just keep working down that edge until you've got the whole thing kind of a uniform convex shape than this kind of weird jagged looking thing here. All right, so here we've got our final stage three preform. So I've got these two guys set up here as places where I'm gonna to try to run notches into this way. 
So I'm gonna start off with this really tiny antler tine. Um, it tends to be like what I just start my notches off with and just kind of start working in. So now we've got the beginning of our notches on either side. I'm gonna take this deer only here, much thinner. Now you got a killing machine. 